G'day, um, today we're going to tie a really simple um, nymph, uh, it's for fast waters, um, riffles and things like that, where you can get down deep pretty quick, I'm, I'm using a tungsten bead on this one, um, it's on a um, B12, uh, B20, sorry, excuse me, I'll start again, a B200, deep water nymph size 12, um, made by Camasone, I'm going to probably put a bit of... Um, lead wire on here um, just to aid with getting it down a little bit quicker uh, four wraps four or five wraps should I say and we'll just pop that inside the bead like so just push it up nice and tight there we go and then we'll get a few wraps of this orange thread that I'm using. They say it's red but it's more of an orange than red. Well in my eyes anyway. <laughs> that could mean anything so let's not worry about that too much. Okay so we've wrapped back to the the hook point. Uh, the, the hook, yeah we've wrapped back anyway to that point. Um, to the barb is what I meant to say. Um, now we're going to uh, get a piece of um, this stuff. Now it's polypropylene based insect representing pre dub material um, with a lighter surface colour intermingled in each strand. Now look, it says it aids buoyancy on dry flies, but I use it for nymphs and you can see further down it says that it does not prevent wet flies or nymphs from sinking. So look, I've used it out on the water and mate, I think it's awesome. Um, I couldn't catch anything one day on uh, dryers and all these other nymphs and then I got this out and blow me down if it didn't just strike everything in sight so I was pretty impressed I don't know if you can still get it but it was just something that I was handed down to from a mate of mine um, anyway look you may be able to look it up um, if you do a bit of research but as you can see it's got all these nice colours going through it um, it's, you could substitute it with a wool or something uh, that you can brush out, but this this stuff is, I reckon it's pretty awesome myself. Um, pull that over there. Let me go back the other way. There we go. Just snip that off, like so. And then um, I'm going to put a little hot spot colour on there out of this stuff. Um, this is or a sort of a UV orangey sort of thing. I'm just going to use a small amount, but it just gives it that nice little attractant um, for the trout and whatever other species you're you're sort of targeting. They like little hot points or hot spots on flies. So I'm just going to put a little one there, and uh, I'll give that a bit of a wet finish. One. Pull it nice and tight. Okay, snip off. Now I know you say, oh well that looks like a really simple fly and but let me tell you, it's simple flies that catch fish. I don't know how many times I've gone to the, you know, I've got to the point where I've I've looked at flies and I've gone, oh yeah, that looks just like the you know, the real thing and Blow me down if it isn't just a, a a rough imitation of something that that I've got in my box that actually nails it all the time. So if you just brush that out a little bit, there we go. And there you have it. This is I haven't called it anything in particular, so you can call it whatever you like. Some people might call it a mess, but I'll be honest with you, it's a, a demon of a little fly. So maybe we'll just call it the um, the little demon. Thanks for watching Tight Lines and Screaming Reels.